Why would Uncle Sam put nine million dollars into this venture? The federal government put only one and three quarter millions into the 1933 Chicago Fair and none at all into the 1939 San Francisco Fair. Why Seattle's Fair? The answer must be that the leaders of Century 21 came through with a valuable concept, science for mankind, and a board of the nation's top scientists to oversee it. Our guide for exploring this world is Dr. Dixie Lee Ray, distinguished scientist on the faculty of the University of Washington. The world today is made, is powered, is penetrated through and through with science. Let us look into the face of the future. Here we see the problems whose shadows already lengthen over the land. Increasing population, diminishing resources, pollution of fresh water, the sea and the air, disease, ignorance, and war. Is this the prospect that we face? Or through knowledge and understanding, can we shape our future, not to a life of ease, but to one that is worthy of the dignity of the human mind and spirit? We have entered upon the space age. This means new concepts of size and time and shape and matter. It means a change in our perspectives and our thinking. Science is the search for hidden likenesses in the great diversity of all things around us, large and small. It seeks the beauty of order. And the sense of personal exploration is as great and as intense in this adventure of the mind as it is in any aspect of the arts. We look to the frontiers of the future with confidence in the knowledge that man masters nature not by force but through understanding. And it is to this end of understanding that the United States Science Exhibit is organized and directed.